And this is our cat, Lily. This is Cinder. We've got the truck. We've got the trailer. And we're ready for our RV travel class. Hello everyone and thank you for joining us. Today, Cinder's getting her exam and also getting a booster shot for her rattlesnake vaccine. And this is her exam and I thought we'd share it with you. So please, I hope you'll learn a little bit and enjoy. So um, I know you wanted to go ahead and we're gonna do our exam. We've already done our weight and temp, correct? And I'm gonna ask my technician, Sherry, to come in and help pull so we can do our exam. <laughs> We do have a website, www.palisadesvet.com, and we have information about the snake, yeah, rattlesnake snake vaccine. Really so, yeah. So, for people that want to read a little bit more. Good girl, Cinder. So, her ears look good. She's got a little dirt in them, but that's typical for a dog that's running around having a good time. She's had really good teeth, but I noticed one of her things got a little bit of a chip in it. This, how it's irregular right there? Yeah, yeah. It's the very top. Uh -huh. It's from chewing. Or, and but she does get... Uh, does rawhide. she get rawhide? Yep. Well, not the rawhide, the little ones. Uh-huh. Not the pure rawhides. So, um, I'm not, I'll be honest with you, I'm not a big rawhide fan. I'm not, but, so she needs something that she likes to chew, but not on anything bad. So, here's the thing. Would you chew on that rawhide with your teeth stand up? No. <laughs> Why? Uh, to me, uh... What's your number one thing you worry about? <laughs> Probably my teeth. You're worried you're going to break your tooth. Yeah. And dog's teeth is no different than, than people teeth. Yeah. And so dog teeth are pointed. Hers are pointed for ripping and tearing. Yeah. Yours are made for grinding. You would probably not break a tooth. It would take longer for you to break a tooth yeah. than her because when she's grinding on that rawhide, yeah. she's taking the tips down. And so she's actually wearing her and teeth. So what we don't do is we don't get like the bones or anything like that. We always mm -hmm. get those little one wrap ones with a flavor thing in them. Mm -hmm. And that's the only kind that we've ever given her because the other ones always I feel like they're just too globular. Mm -hmm. And I always worry about her choking on them and stuff. Mm -hmm. And that is a worry. They are they can be a choke hazard. But I'm not a rawhide person. I don't yeah. my dogs don't get anything like that to chew on. Yeah. And but typically uh that's the only thing that we get rid of chew on. Otherwise, you'll get those other busy bones. They're white, but they're not. They're actually more chalky. They mm -hmm. break apart and you can eat them. Yeah. See that you know things that are softer that you would chew on with your teeth. Yeah. Those are better things for our pets to chew on. Yeah, I don't disagree with that. And she gets peanut butter once a night. <laughs> Does she get it in a calm? Yeah. Okay. Good. That's good because it's good mental activity for her. Oh yeah, she loves the challenge. Okay. Stay. Her abdomen yeah. feels good. And her lymph nodes feel good. We're gonna to listen to her heart. That sounds good. All right, almost done, sweetheart. I can't believe how much she's done on the table. Because <laughs> I wanted to be up and part of the never, show. I never brought her on the table before. Oh, she's doing so good, baby. She says, I have to know that the cookie jar's over. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You're good, baby. Are you ready? Are you ready? Look at that. Okay. Oh, latte love and latte love and latte love. Good girl. Stay. Oh, good girl. Latte love and. Oh, done. Oh, yeah. done. Oh, All right. Good. Let's have you hop down safely. Oh, 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 oh. Our website also has a good rattlesnake article as well and it talks in depth on how that works. Like so many people do not know about this vaccine. I don't mm -hmm. know why and I have no clue about it either. It's care. kind of controversial in the veterinary community. There are some people that believe in it and some people that don't. So yeah. there are some vets that will say it's not worth it. But we, when this vaccine came out, um, and I can't, I can't even tell you how long we've been doing it. But when it first came out, I'm very good. I was very good friends with one of the emergency technicians at Paradise Valley Emergency Clinic, and so we decided to run our own little in survey and look at the number of dogs that came in that were had snake bites, those dogs that had gotten the vaccine, those dogs that didn't get the vaccine, and how much any venom were we giving? And we did it over two summers, and we felt that we saw that those dogs that had had the vaccination had would receive. A significantly less amount of antivenom um, and but I've had a handful of dogs that have gotten the vaccine small breed dogs that got the vaccine but yet still ended up getting quite a bit of antivenom and our feeling is that probably those dogs wouldn't have made it yeah. so huh. 
Well, yeah. I, you know, I was on the YouTube and I was actually going through it. I wanted to see what other people were doing. And so, I, I'm kind of shocked I even watched it. This one guy letting a guy, letting their dog intentionally kill a rattlesnake. And then he thinks he might have got bit, bit, so the dog's kind of sluggish. It's like, are you kidding me? These people are so stupid. <laughs> it's like, don't watch YouTube. Don't. If you put pet snake bite in there and watch some of those YouTube videos, you'll see what I saw. Mm -hmm. And some of them, like, and they don't take their dogs in for the clinic, and they're all swollen. And stuff. Oh, I can tell you, I, you know, I have a more than I'd like to admit to knowing of people that walked up to me and said my dog's been bit, we never did anything, and I'm like, you're just very lucky that your dog survived. Yeah. Most of these dogs are bigger dogs. Yeah. Thank you for watching our videos. Please take the time to subscribe and consider being a Patreon supporter. There is many more adventures and some big surprises coming in the future with your help. Thanks again.